Hello guys, how are you? My name is Victoria. I'm back with another reading for you all today. Today's tarot card reading is going to be a general energy reading. If you have a question that you want answered here as well, this reading could be for you as well. So this is just general energies that I the tarot and I am going to pick up on. Today's tarot reading, we're just going to mainly focus on the tarot decks and I will pull a moonology card for you. Got to be done with the new moon in Taurus, okay, for you as well for each of the piles. Today's pile of cards are the tarot familiars, which will be reading one, which will be the owl. We have the crystal visions tarot deck, which is the I've used the unknown card from that there to symbolize it. So that's reading two. And then we have the light seers tarot, which is symbolized by the eight of wands, which will be reading three for you all. If you have a question you want answered here, you could try that as well. OK, or you could just focus on the general energies of this reading. This one basically is for you. Yeah. So there's no questions involved. We're just trying to tune into energies. Let's have a look what Tarot Universe wants you to know right now. OK, what I ask you to do is choose from your intuition. If you want to watch the entire reading, that's fine as well. There may be the whole thing is messages for you. If you're attracted to more than one, if your intuition leads you to more than one pile of cards, read that one also because that's a general reading for you as well. So I'm giving a little there. Uh, little present to you all today especially for you okay let's get on with your readings what i'd like you to do now is choose from your intuition and i will give you a few quiet moments to do that now so i'll see you at your reading Hello to those of you who chose reading one today, which is the, um, I always forget the name of this deck, the Tarot Familiars deck. It's the new deck on the channel. So, okay. And we've symbolized that by the Ace of Cups. I will put that back in the deck. Okay. Let's shuffle. Let's have a look what the universe wants you to know right now. What spirit wants you to know. These are general readings. Of course, if you have that all important question in your mind, you may do, or you may just want the read, you know, the general reading. That's fine as well. See what's coming up for you. See what's in here for you tonight. I'm filming at night, so that's why I said tonight. <laughs> I was just called to do this reading actually today. I wasn't intending to film for a day or two, but I thought, no, I want to. Something made me. Okay, let's have a look. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Four of Cups. Five of Swords in Reverse, the Six of Cups in Reverse, and the Three of Wands. Okay, I kind of feel like with this reading here, okay, I kind of feel like I think I feel really strongly when I'm looking at the cards as a whole that you kind of want something like you want to know where you stand this is what this is what i'm feeling one million percent as well um you i feel like you're waiting for something as well to happen or to um something to occur within your life now something about the reading is telling me that you might think this is never going to happen or there's a night you think you're naive about something as well with the six of cups in reverse there it can be that sometimes you might think you've got unrealistic expectations or you're asking too much sometimes um the three of wands is kind of telling me you're you're ready to get out there yeah and if people are not on the same page as you it's kind of like your confidence get knock gets knocked at times I'm wondering here with the Knight of Swords, you've stopped 
doing something because of someone else's um I was going to say the word attitude so I'm going to say the first word that came into my intuition there I nearly said attitude and then I wanted I nearly said attitude and then I was going to say mind but the first word that came into my mouth somebody's attitude stopped you from doing something or somebody changed their mind this is what I'm seeing here uh with the five of swords in reverse I don't think you want to confront anything or confront this person or confront the situation right now so um, I can feel that you're doubting yourself you're doubting your abilities um, I think definitely with the four of cups here it's like you want to know what to do for the best so you want to know where you stand or you need that security of knowing where to go next and I don't think you're getting that at this time. We have a Knight of Swords in Reverse, which was this first card out, which is trying to tell me that whatever's being done has been deliberate, okay? Uh, the Knight of Swords in Reverse, they can be bloody cruel, you know? They might not be, they might have done things deliberately because they don't want you to do something. Or this person is... It could be a personal situation. It's like they don't want you to do something or they don't want you away from their side or um, they like you in their space. They like you exactly where they've got you for now. Um, I kind of feel like you're holding back on for yourself, picking up on these energies. You want to do things, but not everyone's jumping on board. I can feel that very strongly. Um, and then you doubt your own abilities and wondering if it's you. What was I going to say? I lost my train of thread. It's gone. No. Um, you're kind of wondering if it's if it's your fault or if you're being the silly one. That's what I'm feeling. When I, I can feel really strongly it's not you. You're, you're ready to go. This person is holding you back or the situation is holding you back instead. The three of wands is telling me that it's going to happen anyway and you will do it. You want to expand out. You might want people to help you as well. It's like, why aren't they helping me? Why aren't they on the same page as me? That's what I'm feeling. This is a card of expansion, a card of travel. Three of wands. Let's get a moon card. You see the five of swords in reverse. There's all these daggers that have been flying at you. It's often a card of um, peace, though, or trying to make peace or try. Well, I'm sensing as well. I think a lot of you, you keep the peace. That's what I'm feeling as well. You, you keep that peace not to upset others. When reality, you really, really are perhaps a little bit resentful deep down that you really wanted to do it anyway. OK, what's come out here? Be bold. Make the first move. Cardinal Moon you got to be bold with this card. It's taking that leap forward, you know. It kind of fits your tarot reading. It's like if things are holding you back, if someone's holding you back, if you've got to knock confidence, if um, you are holding back because you don't want to upset others, it could be that you've got to just get out there and just be bold and do it for yourself, make the first move with this card. So it's all about taking, taking the plunge, getting that little bit of spark and just saying, look, I'm doing this anyway, and then just do it. <laughs> That's what it's kind of saying, this reading. So it feels like to me that you've been held back in some way. Definitely. OK, lovelies, if that resonated with you, give the reading a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're already not a subscriber. I'd love to have you here on the channel i upload several times a week check out the other playlists i have a huge long bluff playlist there the titles are timeless and the readings are timeless to when you need them and when they're relevant for you when you find them so yeah check that out if of course you're attracted to another pile of cards and that caught your eye or maybe all three of them caught your eye caught your eye today um listen to them as well maybe messages that will resonate with you I'm going to off to do pile two now and I don't know what's coming out of that one. So thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been a pleasure. Take care till next time. Bye bye.
Hello there, how are you all doing? Welcome back to your reading, those of you who chose pile number two. This is the unknown card, but underneath this is the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. So, right, let's have a look at your reading, your general energies, what Spirit Universe wants you to know. I don't know what's coming out of here today. So let's have a look at what messages that are here for you. For those of you who wanted to ask a question, let's have a look what it says. And for those of you who just wanted the general energies, that's fine as well. Let's have a look what messages are meant for you today. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Temperance in reverse. The Two of Wands. The Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, you've got two sevens in reverse here, the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Ooh, right. Basically, the entire spread is kind of saying you gave up on something. Um, seven of Pentacles, you gave up because you weren't getting, they're both cards of giving up after you've either failed at something or you've lacked the confidence at something or you didn't get what you wanted from something basically this is what these two are saying we have the temperance in reverse and when the temperance is in reverse it can be that you've lost your patience or you've lost your, i was going to say you lost your temper but i kind of feel like you've lost your patience with something the two of wands here is like often the two of wands is can be a choice you have to make do you do one thing or you do the other do you redo this thing that you gave up on or do you find something else new that you want to concentrate on page of pentacles in reverse telling me you can't make up your mind here at all okay um there may be a little bit of chaotic energy for you at this at the minute perhaps there's other factors that are contributing to you um, not being able to see things through at the minute perhaps your concentration is not there perhaps your heart's not into something at the minute um, perhaps you've lost interest or you've just you know as I said your confidence may be low for some of you as well so you kind of given up on it I don't know what it is, but this is what it's saying. Don't know what it is what with, with you. This is all different energies that I can feel. But it kind of feels like you've retreated because you haven't either got what you wanted or you think you failed at something. The two of wands is kind of telling me you've got a choice to make in the middle. It's like, do you continue with this journey, with this thing you want to do? Or do you make another choice entirely? But it's kind of saying this is sort of making your mind up time. It's like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> That's why I can hear what it. What are you waiting for? It's a card of waiting for results, basically. But it can be a card of waiting to travel as well. Just need to put that out there for some of you. Um, perhaps you've given up on something that you've wanted or you've worked on. I, I kind of feel like with the Page of Pentacles in reverse here... I think that deep down inside, you're annoyed that it failed or you're annoyed that it didn't work. I can feel you kind of covering that emotion up that um, maybe sometimes you're a little moody. Perhaps you're a bit annoyed deep down that this thing didn't work for you. Someone's given up on something here. I can see that here. That's interesting. Um, so you've got a choice to make. Do you carry on with it or you really have given up, you know? But it's kind of telling you if you have given up on this, possibly you need to start something else. Because there's something here that you become impatient with. You're sick of waiting or... Yeah, let's have a look what the Moonology card says for you to match this reading. And my, my clever shuffling. <laughs> Trying not to drop the entire deck onto the floor. So I've pulled out Don't Let Pride Gain Get In Your Way, Full Moon in Leo. No, Full Moon was in Taurus, but this has come out. This could be really significant for you Leos out there like me or you Leos with the Full Moon in Leo or Venus or Rising, obviously, as well. So Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way. Mm, there you go. That's it all.
it's like, where's that raw gone? That's what I'm feeling. You you know, you've given up. Your raw has gone. The king of the jungle, the queen of the jungle is like self-esteem. Definitely with this card. Maybe your self-esteem is low. I did touch on that with your tarot reading. But yeah, perhaps um, if you've given up, it's because um, your pride possibly has been hurt a little bit. But yeah, it's like, where is your raw gone? It's if you've got anything creative, you know, any project you were thinking of doing, it's telling you not to give up on what you were doing. If not, that didn't work and you go around it another way. That's kind of, but don't give up. It's like you're a winner. You're the king and queen of the jungle. So don't let pride get in your way here, you know. If you can't do it one way, do it another that's what I'm feeling. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me today. Hope you enjoyed your general energy reading. For those of you who asked a question, I don't know if this answered your question. Um, yeah, put a comment down in the box. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's see. I do read the comments. <laughs> I do read the comments. I do. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're already not a subscriber. And turn on the notification bell. If you do that, then you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for listening to me today. Check out my uh, playlist there. You can check out the love playlist. I've got loads of videos on there. Have a look which what reading sticks out to you and your intuition. It's all important. And all the videos are timeless whenever I upload. Okay, thank you so much. See you all soon for another reading. Bye bye. Hello everyone that chose reading number three. Now who chose the fast communication? <laughs> uh, drop that comment in the box. Let me know which one, one of you chose the eight of wands here because I chose this card on the deck on purpose because the eight of wands is about speed and fast news arriving and quick changes and yeah, things coming in. I mean, look at those wands, you know, shooting at you. I did that on purpose. I just wanted to see who would choose it. So drop the comment. Let me know. Okay. Let's have a look. What general energies, or for those of you who asked a question, let's have a look what it said. Whoa, the Six of Cups. I always find the Six of Cups a sweet card. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa, Queen of Swords. Did a friend let you down, some of you? Hmm. The Six of Cups, I can kind of felt like it was a childhood memory or a childhood friend, something that's let you down. That might be for all of you. Six of Cups is like when you're happy and you're carefree and you're innocent. And then we have the Three of Pentacles here that's in the reverse, which is telling me that you've been let down. You haven't been supported by something. Look at this Queen of Wands looking in the other direction. <laughs> have you turned your back and fed up with them? Mm, OK, let's have a look. Let's get two more cards. And don't forget your Moonology card at the end of your reading. Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Nine of Swords, there you go. Okay, you've got some anxiety here going on. Somebody's let you down. Did you have too high expectations this person would sort of... Um, I feel like, I really feel like someone's let you down or something has, hasn't gone right. I will probably get another card for these two. We don't want to finish like that. That's what I'm feeling. Let's just to see what happens. So yeah, I've got the Six of Cups. I don't know if someone came back from your past because it's a card of nostalgia, reunion. It's a card of really wanting something to make you happy. It can be a card of a gift as well. Maybe you didn't get what you want here as well. Have you turned your back on something or a situation that um, wasn't beneficial to you at all? I think you kind of felt like it would be okay with the Ten of Swords reverse, but it's like, Maybe you've had to learn a lesson or you've had a harsh reality check. The Nine of Swords here is about not sleeping very well. can be a card of anxiety, but ultimately you can see by the picture, it can be an upset of some kind. Somebody may have let you down here or something hasn't gone like you really wanted it to go. Queen of Swords 
is a truth lady. She's a card of being putting in the work and the effort, but don't lie to her. You know, if you can't, it's like if you can't do something, tell the Queen of Swords the truth. It's like you've got to be honest with the Queen of Swords or she'll she'll poke you with that sword. Yeah, perhaps you've had enough of someone and you've had to turn your back. You kind of can see her sitting there. Yeah, I kind of feel like your expectations have um, been your, your pride, not your pride. Your feelings have been hurt, not your pride. Um, it's your feelings that have been hurt. I feel like there was an expectation here that you didn't get. Um, perhaps the person couldn't deliver at this time or the situation isn't right at this time. This is what I'm kind of feeling. I kind of feel like timings may have been super important here. It might have been that you needed this right now or you needed something. So someone's either let you down or something hasn't worked out. I think you were expecting it to work out. You had high hopes. Wow. Oh, that has just come out. Can you believe the lovers? Okay. I didn't think this was a relationship reading, but it may have been for you. Okay. Right. I won't need another card for this lover's card because I can feel two things already intuitively. I didn't want to leave it like this. Okay. So that's why I'm pulling out. When I read cards, I shuffle on camera so I'd never know what's coming up. OK, so I'm reading sort of, you know, blindly. I have not seen them. I don't know what's coming out. That's the whole reason I do it, because it's a bit, you know, it's interesting to know. I didn't want to leave this like this. I kind of feel like someone's let you down. OK, we have the six of wands. Do you know what I'm kind of feeling here? There was two situations here. Whatever it is, is going to rectify itself in some way. Either your person is going to, you know, you're going to have to shove this person or what if it is a person with the sharp sword and you may get what you want in the end. This could be like a temporary thing. But for some of you, I said you turned your back. Yeah, it could be that there's someone else out there. OK, this is what it's kind of saying, because this is very different from the rest of the spread. I knew I needed to pull more cards. It's like you're going to win in the end. This is what I'm feeling. If the person or the situation has let you down when you had this high expectation, you can see the lovers here and the six of wands. The deep commitment and love that you are wanting, because I can see it there with the six of cups, is going to be yours. Eventually. I'm choosing my words. I'm trying to think of the intuitive words and not just sprout off. Can you see the lovers? If you look at the two pictures, this is a card of victory. This is a card of winning in the end. Um, it might be a little journey that you've gone on, one that's painful. But if it's not with the person that you're thinking of, OK, and I need to say that because we do have like an expectation that was that you've been hurt in some way. It's going to be with someone else who will give you this deep, deep love. The one that you're craving is what I'm feeling. This has turned into a relationship reading. I didn't think it would. Um, the Six of Wands, you'll win in the end. In one way or another, okay, it's like if you have turned your back on something um, and it's tormenting you for now, or this person's hurt you in some way, it's like you're going to either win them back if you want them back. And if you really have turned your back, you can see her back is turned here looking in a different direction because it's too painful there is someone out there you're going to win either way this is what it's kind of saying these are two good cards they feel really strong major arcana and then the card of victory you know it's recognition it's being put first it's somebody that will recognize you right let's get the moonology card like i promised you for the end You'll win in the end. That's what it's kind of saying. You'll get what you're craving in the end. It's been a bit of a journey, I'm feeling here. Promises may have been broken, I'm feeling as well. The answers you need are coming. <laughs> Full moon in Gemini. Communication, communication, communication. 
whenever I see that. Full moon in Gemini, communication, one million percent. It's also a card of flirting. I don't know if someone's tried to flirt with you and you haven't recognized this person likes you. Um, that can be a card of someone trying to flirt with you, you know, or maybe this is future energy here. Um, you might not recognize it or you're not in the mood for them to do it. This is what I'm kind of feeling. This is all about communication. So truth, not surprised with the Queen of Swords being an air sign. And then we have the Gemini card here. Some of you could be Geminis, of course, and that's really quite relevant. But yeah, this is all about communication. Clear communication and things getting your way through communication. It's a good, good card to have. It's also a card of being a bit flirty out there. So if someone flirts with you, don't just, you know, they could be there. You know, it could be a thing. <laughs> That's what I can see. Okay, there we go. Put that there. Thank you so much for listening to the reading today. It's been a pleasure. I hope you gave you some answers that you needed here um if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe if you're attracted to a different pile of cards in today's reading um yeah read that one also or you could listen to the entire reading there may be messages there for you i have a big long love playlist there as well check that out all the readings are timeless for when you click on them they're all relevant to when you need them so if for anything on any titles or any thumbnails attract you give it a listen to see what's there thank you so much for listening it's been a pleasure i shall see you all next time don't forget to subscribe bye bye